Welcome to this Thomas Wynn Railway discussion on Ada, Jane, and Mabel. Now that we've gotten the new 2013 items out of the way, it's time to return to some old types of reviews that my Thomas Wynn Railway discussions are known for. And that is rare and classic Thomas Wynn Railway items from usually the mid-1990s to late 1990s. And therefore, I can think of no better item to start off these new types of discussions than Ada, Jane, and Mabel. Ada, Jane, and Mabel were never seen in the TV series, similar to characters such as the Flying Scotsman, uh, the Soto Railway Repair, even Spam Can that we just looked at in the in the late in the latest review. Um, so it's no surprise that they were only sold in stores from 1997 to 1999. Just like the Flying Scotsman and Soto Railway Repair, they didn't last long. Um, they were never seen in the TV series, and they were only seen in a couple books from the Railway series. Uh, the first book was The Little Old Engine. This is when Peter Sam is show, showing Scarloe around the railway at, because Scarloe has just come home after being repaired. And Peter Sam shows these shows Scarloe these coaches and he uses one word to describe them and he says that, well, he says that they're plain. And that's exactly what Ada, Jane, and Mabel are. They're not your fancy coaches that you see running along the lines of the standard gauge railway. They're just regular, plain coaches um, and what makes them unique is that they don't have any roofs, and I'll explain that in a sec. Um, Sir, Handel, Sir Handel even refers to them as trucks, and of course Ada, Jane, and Mabel get very upset when they're referred to as trucks. Um, and they also appear in one other book, actually they appear in the same book, excuse me, um, The Little Old Engine, when a documentary is being made about the narrow gauge railway. And the people, the film crew, does a very smart technique. And what they do is, as I zoom out here, they put wooden boards over the top of the coaches right here, and that's where they put their film stuff. And so um, Peter Sam, coincidentally, gets to pull the train, and so um, as they're running along the lines of the narrow gauge railway, the film crew is standing up top here, and they're just filming as they go along, and it's all very nice, and they're taking some awesome, awesome video for the documentary about the narrow gauge railway. And then in a similar situation, except it's in a completely different book, it's in a book um, called Very Old Engines, um, they're making a documentary about um, Scarloe and Reneus for their 100th birthday, and they use the same technique by putting a piece of, I guess it would be plywood almost, along the top, and then the film crew sets their TV stuff up there, and they can film. And that's really we all, all we ever see of Ada, Jane, and Mabel in the TV series, or excuse me, in the railway series, we never see them, <clears throat> excuse me, we never see them in the TV series. They actually never speak in the railway series, which is also interesting. Um, so we don't know too much about, you know, these coaches that everybody seems to adore in the Thomas Wynn Railway line. So enough of me talking, um, and let's zoom out here, and I'll show you guys what each of these coaches look like. So the three coaches' names are Ada, Jane, and Mabel, if we can get it to focus. There we go. Almost. There we go. Um, this one right here is Ada, and on the back it says Ada, and that's really cool because um, up until now, remember this is 1997 to 1999, um, there are no names on the bottom, sorry the camera keeps on going out of focus, um, there are no names on the bottom, um, and so Learning Curve probably thought, you know what, kids are going to get really mixed up with these coaches, they're going to forget who's who, and they're not going to know, you know, essentially who's who. So they did something really smart and they put the names on the back of the coaches. So you'll see in a sec here with Jane and Mabel that they, that there aren't, or that, excuse me, that they do have names on the back. So this is one of the first wind railway lines to do this type of technique. Obviously characters such as Donald and Douglas and Mavis, because they have name plates, their names were already on them. But characters such as Thomas, Percy, even Duck and Toby, they didn't have their names on them and their names were nowhere to be found on their models. Um, so for the most part, this is a, you know, plastic item. This is one of the first items to use plastic completely. This part right here is plastic. These are supposed to represent seats. This right here is wooden. That's nice. Um, if you'll give me one sec, I can figure out what year this is in. This is from 1997. So the first year of Ada, Jane, and Mabel. And, um, interesting models to say the least. So I'll stop with Ada and I'll move on to Jane, but I won't spend so much time on Jane because you guys know what she looks like. They're all the same mold. There's nothing different about their shape. So all they really had to do was plop or just use a stamp and plop their face on there and then use another stamp and plop their name on this. So this is Jane. Jane looks a little bit, a little bit more mischievous than Ada. Um, same setup. I think they're all from 1997. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Um, and then here's Mabel, and out of the three coaches, Mabel has the, I'd say, weirdest face. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, 
why her face is a little bit different. It's like she's talking. Maybe Ma Mabel's a talkative character. And the thing is, we don't know that for sure because we never got to know them well enough in the Railway series. I mean, they never talk. The only, you know, we get a couple pictures of them here and there in the two stories that, or in the two books that they're seen in. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't get to know these characters too much, which is kind of a shame. Um, another interesting thing to note about them in the Railway series is that um, when Scarlowe, or excuse me, when Peter Sam is showing Scarlowe around, um, in that in that story, there's also a brake van known as Cora, and of course there is no wooden railway rendition of Cora, and it makes for an interesting case as to why there was no wooden railway model because it'd be awesome to have you know coaches, coach, coach, and then a brake van. And my I guess my best theory on it is that Learning Curve wanted to market this as a three pack. And they thought maybe doing it as a four-pack would possibly ruin its sales. I don't know. Maybe there's something completely different. Maybe they just didn't like Cora at all. I don't know. But, um, you know, you rarely see four-packs in the Thomas Wynn Railway line. I know there's been a four-pack going around um, with Bill, Ben, Mavis, and a construction car, but that's only been recently. And so, and I cannot think of a, of a 1990s item where you, you had a four-pack. Everything's either... You know, of course, ones, twos, or threes, and then you pretty much move on to sets and destinations at that point. So there is no wooden railway model of Cora. Um, don't really know what else to say um, about these models. They're really nice, and I think what I'll do with all the models that I'll that I'll that I'll review, I'll give my opinion on them, and I'll kind of grade them on an A to an F scale, A being the best, F to worst, and then I'll also recommend them, or I'll also tell you guys whether you should get them or not and also explain to you why you should get them or not so on an a to f scale i'll give these an a minus they're definitely you know thomas Wynn railway gold for any serious collector you got to have these because they are one of the few items marketed specifically to the narrow gauge ra railway i mean there's no specific nail or narrow gauge trucks i mean i guess you can take some cargo cars and use them as slight cars but there's nothing really like a to jane and mabel out there and that's what makes them so nice um Let's say, so I gave him an A-. minus. Um, the reason I got A to Jane Mabel is because uh, I was working on my narrow gauge layout over the summer, and I knew that if I was going to have a narrow gauge layout, I needed to have A to Jane and Mabel. I mean, that's just one of the things you got to have. So I bought mine for $65, and I thought I got a deal when I bought those. But and actually, in the recent months, I've been seeing them for going much, much lower than that. Actually, last week, I saw a sale. Actually, oh, it was an auction. It had not yet completed but um, the starting price was $25 and had about two days left. And so I always kind of wonder whatever happened to that, wonder if it went up at all, if any, you know. So, I mean, a few years ago, I mean, these used to be really tough to find on eBay, but it seems like not anymore. Um, the price is certainly dropping. So my recommendation, if you are a hardcore Thomas Wynn Railway collector, get these items. They're really nice. Even though they're made of plastic, um, there's something about them that just is just, you, you look at them and you're like, that is Tom, that is a, you know, the epitome of Thomas Wynn Railway right there. Um, they're great models. I, I love us using them in, any, in every possible narrow gauge episode that I can in my series because they really are nice. Um, what else can I say? They're, I mean, they're, that's the word. They're, they're nice models. And even, like I say, even though they're made of plastic, they're, they're, they're awesome. And I'm sure people with Ada, Jane, and Mabel can tell you the exact same thing. So, um, I can't really think of a reason why you wouldn't get these models. This is probably the one model that I'll tell you that I think everybody should get. And right now, the price seems to be right. So that's all I'll say about Ada, Jane, and Mabel, folks. But um, thanks for watching this discussion on uh, these rare, uh, on this you know rare Ada, Jane, and Mabel right here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed everything. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hopefully no concerns, of course, uh, just leave them below. I love to hear what you guys think about the models. But um. Until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed me going back to these rare classic Thomas Wynn Railway items. And um, until next time, see you. Bye, and thanks for watching.